Welcome to the Treeversity video tutorials. In this first video, we're going to talk about how to sign in to Zooniverse and how to navigate the Treeversity website. So here I am at the Treeversity website. The first thing I want to do is go up here and sign in. I could also register if I didn't have an account set up already, but I do have one, so I'll sign in. And my login information is already loaded here, so I'll just click sign in again. Okay, so uh, this is what the Treeversity uh, website landing page looks like. So up top we have this menu bar here, and this is the Zooniverse menu bar. So remember that Treeversity is a project built using the Zooniverse platform. So uh, this is the Zooniverse menu bar up here, and we can use these tabs to get to Zooniverse related content. So a great place to start is by clicking on projects, and on this page you can find all of the Zooniverse projects that exist, and you can uh, work your way through them and check some of them out. Uh, you can also go to the About tab to learn more about Zooniverse. Uh, the Talk Forum is actually a Zooniverse platform-wide talk forum that's set up for Zooniverse staff, project builders, and volunteers to interact. So these message boards here contain messages pertaining to all Zooniverse projects. Treeversity also has its own talk forum and looks very similar. We'll talk about that later in the video. This build a project tab is particularly useful for anyone who's a project builder or a moderator. You can find how to's, glossaries, and this link here, best practices, is especially useful. Uh, if you're looking for information on how to build a project, how to launch it, and how to successfully recruit volunteers. Up here in the top right, we have some general settings. Uh, so if you'd like to change your account settings or your profile, you can use these links here. You can also view your collections and favorites. We'll talk about those later in the video as well. You'll also find your message inbox. So this is uh, how Zooniverse volunteers Staff members and team members can all interact by sending um, direct messages to each other. There's also notifications, so anytime that uh, something happens on Zooniverse that you've set your notifications for to alert you, uh, you'll get a notification from Zooniverse, and you'll find those all up here. So th that'll be a particularly useful place for moderators when they're monitoring uh, discussions on the talk forum boards. So let's go back to our Treeversity project page. Okay, so that's the Zooniverse menu bar. A little bit lower down here we have the Treeversity menu bar. So these tabs here will bring me to uh, Treeversity related content. So the About tab here shows us some uh, information about the project in general to let volunteers know uh, what the project's all about and what they're contributing to. This team tab here will show us the Treeversity team members as well as links to their Arboretum website profiles. And here's mine. So if you're looking for contact information for any team member, you can find it on that page. There's also an FAQ link which will take you to some frequently asked questions. This is a place for project builders to relay answers to frequently asked questions about the workflow or about the project in general. So you can see we've preemptively loaded some, uh, some answers here and it's very likely that we'll be modifying these and adding to the FAQ as we go. The next tab over is the classify tab. And this is really the meat and potatoes of Zooniverse. This is uh, where volunteers will be doing the majority of their work in classifying images. So this interface here is how they'll go about identifying features. You can see the features listed here in each of our images, as well as a project tutorial. So we're going to talk uh, in another video about how to classify images. So we won't talk too much about this classify tab just yet. The next tab is the Talk tab. So this is a tab that our Treeversity moderators are going to be using uh, pretty frequently. So this is uh, our Treeversity Talk forum. And you can see that this forum uh, is comprised of multiple um, boards that we've set up. 
And these boards are where volunteers, team members, and moderators will interact with each other by creating discussions and uh, adding comments to those discussions. So this is really a place for volunteers to ask questions about botany, phonology, or morphology, if they're having trouble identifying features and images, or if they're having uh, technical trouble with uh, the workflow in general, they can uh, find answers to their questions here or just interact with staff. They can also ask questions about plant science in general, the Arnold, Arnold Arboretum, uh, the project. Oftentimes volunteers are going to be curious about these things, so this will be a great place for them to ask their questions as well as share things that they're interested in, um, maybe outside of the project. Uh, we're also encouraging our volunteers to post their favorite photos as they work their way through Treeversity. It's a great way for them to interact with team members uh, and to really get some positive feedback on the work they're doing. So we'll talk more about this talk forum in a later video. Uh, let's move on to Collect. So Collect is basically a way for volunteers to save images that they really like as they're working through the Treeversity project. So you can see that I've already set up a collection here called Cones. And I've added two photos to it uh, that I found as I was demoing the workflow. So we'll talk later about how to set up a collection. It's, it, as I said, it's basically a way for you to save images that you really like. You can actually invite collaborators to work with you on a single collection and they can add images to it as well. So it's a great way uh, for volunteers to interact and also really uh, take something away from the project. You can also find links to the, your collection and your favorites up here in the top right. Favorites is very similar to collection, except the favorites button on each image will just add it to your favorites pool. The pool isn't broken down into any kind of album and you can't collaborate. It just saves uh, your, this, this image here or whichever image you're looking at in your favorites pool. So it's a very kind of general, quick and easy way of saving images that you like. So that's an overview of the Treeversity uh, website. Just a few more things before we end this video. We also have some statistics down here. So as the project proceeds, we'll kind of see these statistics change and we'll be able to track um, the completion of each uh, image set that we load into um, the platform. This button here will take us to the talk forum and then these two buttons will take us to the about page and the classify page. So basically just buttons that are another way of getting us to um, the main content of the project. So uh, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for um, the next video which will be about classifying images in Treeversity. Thanks.